Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Lee Halliday and this is Next Level Next.js where we're going to build this application front end to back end um, from start to finish. And I thought we'd take this first video to, to just learn what this app does and understand all of the different pieces of it. When we start out, we're on the home page and there's a listing of homes on the left and then uh, a map on the right showing these same homes and they're tied together where when you hover the one on the left, it highlights the, the house on the right. You can also pop open an info window to see the details on the house over here. And the cool thing is, is that they're tied together. So when you zoom in and you have say three homes on the map, the, the left is in sync. And as we sort of move this thing around, it's, it's refreshing and updating the homes on the left. So that's one cool part of it. They're tied together. We've got search as well. We can pop over to Kingston, Ontario, and we can see the homes here, fly back to, to Toronto. So we've got Google Places search here, and we've added an authentication. So clicking login and sign up brings us over to a, a sign-in form. This uses Firebase, so I'm gonna enter my email and my password. And once I'm authenticated, that gives me some extra functionality. I can add new houses. So we'll come here and we'll say, we'll add in um, 55 Adelaide Street East in Toronto. Once you click the address, it will allow you to enter the rest of the house so we can add in an image. And we're gonna use this nice um, abandoned house with a, with a donkey in front. And um, all of our images are being stored in Cloudinary. So we'll enter in the home, uh, the home image, the beds, we'll save that and that will pop us over once it's finishing um, uploading the image to Cloudinary, doing the GraphQL mutation to save it in our own database using Postgres and Prisma. It brings us to the house detail page where there's another similar map where it highlights the one that we're looking at and it shows nearby homes. Homes, I think, in a 15 kilometer radius. Um, so we can click over to some nearby homes there's no way this palace is in Toronto, but what are you going to do? And because I'm authenticated and because this is my own image, it's one that I've added, I have the ability to delete it if I want, or I can go in and edit the details of it. Uh, add a new image, um, bring the bedrooms from four down to three, and that will pop me back open. And once it finishes loading, we'll get the new updated details. So this is the app we're going to be building. There's a lot to it, even though there's only a few pages. Once you add in the front end and the back end, authentication, database, GraphQL, all the layers in there. Uh, and this is what we're going to be building. It's a 28 video course, including this one. So if you've gotten this far, you've got 27 to go. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learn a lot. I sure did when making it. Um, so yeah, let's keep going.